Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will talk about ovarian pathologies on ultrasound. We will compare the normal and abnormal appearances of ovaries. Starting off with the normal views of left ovary. In the longitudinal view, it is more wider and has multiple follicles. And in the transverse view, it is taller. And we can see the follicles inside the ovary. Similarly, for the right ovary, both the longitudinal and transverse views with follicles visualized. Starting off with the first case, ovarian cyst. These are anechoic, rounded, thin walled with posterior enhancement and they are usually more than 3 cm in diameter. Cumulus oophorus is a small cystic structure at the periphery of this dominant follicle and it is a sign of ovulation. Corpus luteum is formed after the ovum is expelled into the fallopian tube and it is a thick walled structure. By using Doppler, we observe peripheral vascularity. This peripheral vascularity is called the ring of fire. And we can also have internal echoes which are inside the corpus luteum. A hemorrhagic ovarian cyst can occur from rupture of a corpus luteum or any other functional cyst. It has internal echoes due to blood products and absence of flow on Doppler. Hemorrhagic corpus luteum showing peripheral vascularity that is the ring of fire and it also has internal echoes due to blood products. Endometriomas, also known as chocolate cysts, have unilocular appearance. U unilocular means single compartment. These locules are compartments. So this one has only one compartment and it has thick walls. And these internal echoes like ground glass appearance and it has cystic solid components this one is cystic slightly lower in echogenicity and this is the solid component slightly more in echogenicity serous cyst adenomas have anechoic appearance and are unilocular this is again uh, one compartment so this is called unilocular and this one is anechoic as compared to the endometrioma which was not anechoic serous cystadenocarcinoma is the malignant form it is comprised of heterogeneous appearance and more solid components and the patient may also have ascites. Mucinous cystadenoma is larger in size and has lots of locules. There are many locules in this. Mucinous cystadenocarcinoma is the malignant form and has more solid components and heterogeneous components. The walls of the locules are more hyperechoic. Dermoid cysts are also called mature ovarian cystic teratomas are echogenic masses with attenuation and they also have fluid fluid levels. These are two different fluids with different densities. The dermoid plug also called Rokidensky nodule is a hyperchoic structure due to hair, tooth, sebaceous or calcific component. It is more likely to be malignant. The dermoid mesh is formed from here inside a cyst. 
and this form gives a dot dash pattern these are thin echogenic bands which give this type of appearance another feature is the floating ball sign which are fat globules inside the cyst these are hyperechoic fat globules inside a hypoechoic fluid Ovarian fibroma is a benign tumor of the ovary. It is a solid hypoechoic mass which may sometimes have cysts. Ovarian tachoma is another benign tumor of the ovary but it is non-specific on ultrasound and has variable appearance. Metastases appear as solid hypoechoic masses in the ovary which give a specific moth-eaten appearance. They appear as these hole-like structures. And this type of metastatic lesions are also known as Krokenberg tumor. Paraovarian cysts are simple cysts outside the ovary and they move independently when transducer pressure is applied. Polycystic ovary occurs when there are more than 20 cysts inside an ovary and the follicle size can range from 2 to 9 millimeters. Due to multiple cysts, this gives a specific appearance called the string of pearls sign. Here we have the string of pearls sign. The cysts are lined up together and they look just like this pearl, string of pearl. In ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, the ovaries are enlarged, which could be more than 12 centimeters. They have lots of cysts, and these cysts give a spoke wheel appearance. In ovarian torsion, the ovary can appear enlarged, could be more than 4 cm. There will be absence of blood flow on Doppler. Here we can see there is no blood flow inside the ovary when the Doppler is applied. And the ovary is appearing hyperechoic as well. A classic sign of ovarian torsion is the whirlpool sign. Because the ovary is twisted, it gives us this type of appearance, and this appearance is called the whirlpool sign. Using Doppler makes the whirlpool sign more prominent. As you can see the shape of the, the structure is looking just like that whirlpools that we see in water. Another important sign which might be noticed in some cases of ovarian torsion is the follicular ring sign. It is a thick hyperechoic margin around the follicles which can measure 1 to 2 millimeters. 